Number nine, which of the following is the major product that is formed in the reaction of propyne with sodium amide followed by ethyl bromide? So let's draw it. Propyne is basically a three carbon alkyne. We're going to react it with sodium amide, NaNH2, followed by ethyl bromide, CH3CH2Br. Sodium has a positive charge, so the amide ion is going to have a negative charge. It has two lone pairs and a negative charge. So it's going to act as a strong base. It's strong enough to the pronate the alkyne CH hydrogen, which has a pKa of around 25. And then we're going to get an alkanide ion, which is basically a carbon with a negative charge that is part of a triple bond system. Once we get this, this is going to behave as a good nucleophile. So the next step is going to be an SN2 reaction. The nucleophile is going to attack the primary carbon, kicking out the leaving group. So the end result is that we're going to get, we're going to form a carbon-carbon bond, and we're going to have a five-carbon system. So it's not pentane, it's not pentene, but it's going to be pentine. Now the triple bond is between carbons 2 and 3, so we're going to call it 2-pentine, using the lower of the two numbers. Therefore, answer choice B is the right answer. Now this is for those of you who might be interested in joining my YouTube membership program. If you type in Organic Chemistry Tutor in the YouTube search box and click here, it's going to take you to my channel. Now if you scroll down, you could find my Organic Chemistry video playlist. And in this playlist, you could see all the videos that I have available to those in my membership program. So for instance, if you look at this video, this is a basic introduction into organic chemistry. It's about 42 minutes long, but the full version is an hour and 42 minutes long. And that's accessible if you decide to join my membership program. But now you not only get that video, but you also get other videos as well. So like this video on valence bond theory, you get access to the full version, which is about 33 minutes long, compared to the free version, which is 10 minutes long. And you could see it here. I have another one, resonance structures, acids and bases, pKa values for acids, IUPAC nomenclature, Newman projections, chair confirmations with ring flips. Now this video is my organic chemistry exam one review. It's a quick review of the things that you'll typically be tested on in the first semester exam of organic chemistry. The free version is about 42 minutes long. The full version is two hours long. Now over here, this is an actual practice exam with multiple choice problems and free response questions. As you can see, the free version is only 42 minutes long. The full version combined is between seven to eight hours long. Now I have other videos on stereochemistry, specific rotation, SN2, SN1, E1, E2 reactions. I have a practice test on that because that's a topic that a lot of students struggle with. So the full practice test is about four hours long. Again, if you join the membership program, you'll get access to that video. I have videos on alkene reactions, alkyne reactions. And this is my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 2 review. Over here, this is the practice test with about 85 questions. As you can see, the full version is six hours long. The free version is about 43 minutes long. In my membership program, you'll have access to alcohol reactions, free radical reactions, and of course, my Organic Chemistry 1 final exam review video. The full version is about six hours long, but the the first two hours are free. This is the last four hours. To find the first two hours that are free, here it is right here. 
at the top of the list. So feel free to take a look at that if you want to know what you're getting if you decide to join my YouTube membership program. Now this is for those of you who want to get access to all of my video playlists and exam review videos all in one spot. So if you go to video-tutor.net and if you go here, click more, video playlists, you can get access to all the different video playlists that I have on my YouTube channel and also the final exam review videos as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.